Hey, welcome back to another week of our daily devotions. Yesterday was Father's Day, of course. And I know for some of you, yesterday was a great day. You celebrated both the relationship that you have with your dad and the relationship that you have with your children. Father's Day was just a great day. For some, however, Father's Day may not be a good day. Maybe you've had a difficult relationship with your father, or maybe you lost your father, and yesterday was a reminder of that. Or maybe things are just not going well with your children, and so you're struggling a little bit with, with some of those parenting issues. Or possibly you've lost a child, or you wanted to have children, and so far you've been unable to. For whatever reason, Father's Day is the day that brings up things that just aren't easy for you. And that's why I want to really shift focus a little bit. Because no matter what kind of day it was for you yesterday, I want all of us to recognize that we have a father who's a great father. And we can have a great week and a great life. Because we have one who cares for us and loves us. Too often we get the images of God and our own dads confused. So whatever this last weekend brought for you, my prayer is that more than anything else, you'll be reminded today and in the days to come how much our Father God loves you. The psalmist puts it this way in Psalm 68, 5, that God, our Father, He will be a father to the fatherless. So again, no matter what your relationship is with your earthly father, God is our Father, and we can count on Him. Psalmist in Psalm 103, verse 13 says, the Lord is like a father to His children. Hear this, tender and compassionate to those who fear Him. So our Father God is tender and compassionate to you and to me, His children, right? Oh, how, how some of us need to hear that today. How some of us need to hear that this week. How we need to know that we can count on our Heavenly Father. Because again, we really can. Sometimes even those of us who have good fathers, we question if they're right. We wonder if they sometimes know what they're really talking about. Do they really help us? So listen to this reading. It's entitled, How Fathers Mature. At age four, my daddy can do anything. Age seven, yeah, my dad knows a whole lot. Age nine, dad doesn't know quite everything. Age 12, dad just doesn't understand. Age 14, well, dad, he's just old fashioned. Age 21, dad is just out of touch. Age 25, dad is okay. Age 30, I wonder what dad thinks about this. Age 35, I must get dad's input first. Age 50, I wonder what dad would have thought about that. Age 60, I sure wish I could talk it over with dad once more. I wonder sometimes if the same could be said with our relationship with our Heavenly Father. But again, here's the great news. The more that we get to know God, the more that we mature, the more we will understand that our Heavenly Father, He's got it figured out. He's still on the throne. He knows what we must do, even in especially during these kind of crazy times. And the even better news for you and for me, He's ready and He's waiting for us to come to Him. His arms, they're wide open. So this week, talk it over. Talk it over whatever's going on in your life with your Heavenly Father who is there for you today. Count on that. Have a great day.